personally, I'm not all that worried about artificial intelligence and robots taking over the world. But almost everyone I know who's an expert in it, they're worried. They're all worried. I'm reminded of Ray Bradbury, author of many great science fiction novels about Mars and, and other stories. He was once criticized. Someone asked him, Ray, why do you have all these apocalyptic, futuristic stories? Is this what you think we have in store for ourselves? And he says, I don't write these because I think that's what our future will be. I write these stories so that you know what future to avoid. And I said, ooh, that's deep. So the fact that we've had our share of films that show computer intelligence taking over, I think it spooked us. And a little bit of spooking is a good thing. It means you'll move forward, you'll step lightly. But here's my reasoning for why I'm not as afraid as AI experts. Every manifestation of computer ability that has arisen has been parsed into some task or set of tasks that we previously had undertaken and now the computer does it. So we used to build cars on an assembly line. Now robots build cars. And cars are better than they have ever been. People think of robots that'll run around and they'll have all this high intelligence. Well, go back 40 years ago, 50 years ago. People were imagining robots, humanoid robots, and then the robot would then drive your car. No, not today. The car is the robot. So the idea that you would have what they call general intelligence, some kind of entity that can learn anything and do anything and do it better than any of us, I just don't see that as the direction things are headed. We'll have tasks, we'll get some really good computer to figure out how to do it better than we can, and then we, it happens. So I'm, I'm not as worried, but if the concerns of AI experts are real and we, we need to heed them, yeah, there'll be a day when AI takes over and it'll make us their pets.